Hello Windows fans, it's James here. Have you ever heard of Microsoft Power Toys? It's an add-on for Windows that adds a load of time-saving tools to Windows. I don't know why they don't bundle it in with Windows because some of the tools are really fantastic and really everyone should use them. Uh, but for some reason Microsoft has decided it's an add-on that only the people in the know get to use. So if you don't know about Microsoft Power Toys, you'd never be able to use these features. So I'm going to take you through two. One's called Fancy Zones and one is called Mouse Without Borders. Um, they are the two that I use most often and they save me so much time. First off, you need to be able to install Power Toys onto your computer. A couple of options to do that. You can either go to uh, GitHub and you can download it from the Microsoft Power Toys uh, website, but there's an easier way. The easiest way to do it is open the Microsoft Store on your app, um, on your Windows machine I mean, and just search for Microsoft Power Toys and then hit the install button and that will install the program onto your computer. Now that you've got the program installed on your computer, it's time to open it up. Once you open it up, you'll see a dashboard like this, and this lists all the tools that you can use and add to Windows. Now the two I said I was gonna go through was Fancy Zones and Mouse Without Borders. Now what Fancy Zones is, is a way of organizing your desktop, organizing where programs open on your desktop. You'll know if you're on a Windows machine that you have uh, preset layouts that you can drop a window into as I'm showing you at the moment, but these just, the, the set ones, you can't do any customization or change those at all. Power Toys allows you to design your own layouts. So if I uh, open Power Toys uh, again and then go to Fancy Zones and click Launch Layout Editor, you'll see here, these are the zones that I have set up on my screen. So I have one down the left-hand side, which I normally have Google Chat in, so that I can always see the messages and communicate with uh, teammates and, uh, and clients and colleagues and stuff like that. Um, in the middle of the page, I normally have my, my main programs that I'm running in there, so Google Chrome. And in the right-hand side, this is where I normally have my to-do list in the top right-hand corner. And I normally have Gemini in the bottom right-hand corner so I can easily interact with my um, AI. So this is my layout. Um, you've got a few default templates that it comes with, but all you have to do to create your own layout is click Cus Create New Layout. And then you just drag and drop these, uh, te these like shadowed windows around your uh, screen to where you want programs to be. Now, to get a program into one of those windows, all you have to do is open the program for the first time and then just drag it into one of these areas. You hold the shift button and you click on the program and then drag it into one of these zones that you've created and then close the program. And every time you open the program from that, forth on, that point onwards, it'll open in the zone that you have selected. So it's a real cool way just to organize your windows and just have everything where you want it all the time whenever you open a program. And you can always go and remove them, move them around or change them around. But Fancy, fancy Zones is just like, Fabulous. It's, it's, it, this should be built into Windows, this. It's just ridiculous that it isn't. And if you have a lot of Windows open or you've got a large screen like I have and you want to organize your Windows, get Power Toys installed and get Fancy Zones uh, working. Now, the next feature is called uh, Mouse Without Borders. So how this works is if you've got two computers, uh, traditionally in the old days, if you wanted to use your mouse or keyboard on the other computer, you'd have a box on your desktop that you'd uh, with a knob on it that you'd switch from one computer to the other and your mouse and keyboard would then go to one computer or the other. But with mouse without borders, that doesn't happen anymore. So what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna need to set up uh, my camera so you can see this, how this works. I'm gonna record this on my mobile. I'm gonna jump over to my mobile. But essentially, once I've got this turned on, I've got two computers down here, as you can see. I've got my desktop here that we're looking at and I've got my laptop down here. And with mouse without borders enabled, all I have to do is move my mouse to wherever my computer is, so my laptop's down the bottom left, move it down there and you will see that my mouse is now um, on my laptop. Um, wherever my mouse is, is wherever my keyboard is. So if I click on this program and start typing something in, my keyboard will work on that as well. So it just follows it around. So I've essentially made my laptop a second screen when it's sitting next to my uh, desktop. While they can't actually communicate each other with files, I can't drag and drop files between the two, um, at least I can use my mouse and keyboard with ease between the two devices. And that is just really, really good and really, really handy. There's, there's a lot of people in offices that have a, a laptop and a desktop computer, and this way you can kind of get them to work together without having to unplug or plug things into a dock and or mess around with all these cables. You can just use mouse without borders. And there is some setup that you need to do once you've got mouse, once you enable the, um, the, the feature uh, mouse without borders. You've got to tell it where your laptop is and you've also got to do this security key so that it always connects to the right one. Um, I'm going to blur that out so you can't see my security key. 
But once you've got that set up, it's seamless. The mouse will just move between computers without any problem whatsoever. So I highly recommend giving it a go, downloading Power Tools, having a go with Fancy Zones and Mouse Without Borders, and also look at the other 29 or 27 uh, tools that are there and leave me a message in the comments for any that you also use that you find really handy because I'd love to find out how other tools that people are using and what I'm missing because there's so much stuff in there and I've, I've played around with quite a few of them but there's some that I've not actually touched yet because I haven't seen a need for them but if you've got one in there that I haven't mentioned you should really give, let me know let me know if I want to hear about it in the comments but anyway give it a go and I think you're going to save a load of time.